overall. Uh, could you please introduce yourself? Of course. Uh, my name is uh, Roel van Rijswijk. I'm a partner with Deloitte in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam, and there I lead our uh, cyber team. Mm -hmm. And today there is a, a conference in mm -hmm. Deloitte. Uh, yeah. So could you please explain what we have learned today in this conference? Uh, what, what I talked about is uh, the cyber briefing, which is a report that Deloitte brought out. And it's basically looking at the different industries, different sectors, what are relevant threats for that sector. Because uh, we all know about uh, banking, that they're under attack. But we thought it was interesting to see for other sectors like media or manufacturing or other sectors, you know, what are relevant threats for them. Because nobody is immune for cyber attacks. Yeah. That's right. Uh, could you please uh, t talk about the main dangers uh, today in the cyber environment? Yeah. yeah, I think everybody who is connected, uh, let's say that, that, that every company and every organization is completely dependent on technology. Or the other way around, if the technology fails, then uh, your organization fails. And that technology is getting more open and connected, so getting more vulnerable for, for cyber attacks. And also the threats are increasing. And cybercrime is professionalizing, there is increase in other factors and motivations. So 100% uh, uh, security is basically is impossible. And, and the biggest dangers are the dangers of tomorrow. Uh, because it's a threat which is based on an intelligent actor, which is a hacker. And a hacker evolves and adapts. So you can understand the threats of today, but n not necessarily the threats of tomorrow. And I think that's the biggest challenge we have in cyber. Mm -hmm. And as well as I understand that there are so many real threats, uh, how do you think that we can defend ourselves and our company? Yeah, so what you need is resilience. Uh, as I said, you can't prevent uh, a virus from getting in, a piece of malware from entering your systems. Uh, but then the, it's not only about prevention, it's also about detecting it timely and then responding adequately. So that's a little bit different than, than, than security. And security is about you know, having your assets behind a wall, which is thick and high, and behind that you're safe. What you need is a very dynamic, proactive defense. Constantly looking for new threats, making sure that you it, uh, the, detect the attack in an early enough phase, so you can still respond and make sure that, uh, that, there's, not a, that, that there's not a lot of, of damage. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, these antiviruses are really protective and useful? For a part, I think they are useful. It will protect you from the known threats. Mm -hmm. um, so any, every virus that is known will then be uh, caught. So it's what I call basic hygiene. Uh, you need them in place. But obviously it will not protect you from a, a, a new type of virus, a new type of malware. And it will definitely not uh, protect you against what we call an advanced persistent threat, which is a group of hackers professional hackers that are targeting uh, you. So yes, it's useful, uh, but it's just it's just the start. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, are there anything you would like to add? Yeah, what I would like to add is that uh, obviously this threat is real, but we shouldn't panic. And, uh, and definitely, uh, you know, all the great things that are brought by the digital technology is, is, is fantastic. Um, so as long as we are aware of the threat, we shouldn't be frightened and just deal with it and then uh, survive and thrive in the digital world. Mm -hmm. So we can still shop online? Uh, you should, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay.